Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, oh, welcome back to You Will Die Here Tonight. Last time we were here, we attempted to escape the mansion, only to find out that we're stuck in a facility that's effectively got us trapped in, like, a Groundhog Day situation, if you will. I had a mental block there and couldn't think of the word. Anyway, now we're attempting to break the cycle. We came back to the mansion to gather uh, memories or something like that in order to do just that, to break the cycle. Now, as always, if you guys finally enjoy this channel, this content, and my doofy, nonsensical nonsense, any engagements you guys leave will help the channel out with growing, with getting out to other users, and just in general, it helps us to grow as a community. And I appreciate the help. Things like likes, dislikes, the bell icon, and comments are all little stuff that does help. If you want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for the Discord where we do community events, we hang out, we chat, and generally we'll game with one another. So if it's not a community event, you're always welcome to pop in and find a gaming buddy to hang out with. So other than that, lads, I'm going to get right back to this in a moment. I am just getting things set up on my end because for some reason everything just being extremely slow, slower than normal. But I think for the most part, everything's kind of coming through the way it should. I do apologize. But other than that, uh, we'll get right to it. I think we've already lost two of our characters. I don't remember how I managed to do that. But honestly, my dumbass, I'm not surprised. I think we've lost two characters already. We'll figure it out. Anyway. I think at this point, though, we've already gotten what we needed. Supposedly, we just needed to get, like, certain memories. I don't know if I... Maybe I need... I don't know if I need the memories of that girl, the medic, that we have on our team. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. I... Um... Oh, right, I need my mouse. Okay. garden escape okay i'll head to the garden all right right okay i think i still need to find those plants for the girl and i just don't know where the hell those plants are okay i need to find a key the garden is okay um, hmm. Okay, nothing worthwhile over here. Let's just search. Oh! I mean, that's always appreciated. My character wounded or something, or am I just dumb? Oh, okay. Uh, nothing over here. What are our objectives? Escape to the back, to the back garden. All right. Um, maybe I could go through the parlor. I'm doubtful of this, but what are the chances? Oh, uh, oh yeah, we never figured this one out. Hey, Seth, what's going on? How is uh, Dragon's Dogma? So why is it that you feel like you barely made any progress? Okay, you're, you're basically getting the open world fatigue. You're presented with this large open world, and you know, you, you, it's like there's so much to do, now you're just trying to figure out how to do it all. All right, so there's a couple of things we need to do. I gotta figure out that piano, because I don't think we did that. Oh shit. That's a C oh actually wait that's already open.
Yep, that'll do it, Seth. That will do it. Now, this character died down here. Wonder if we're going to be permitted to go back through. Yeah, they don't want us going in here. Okay. No, no, no. You know what it is, Seth? It's not that I own those games. It's just they didn't really pique my interest. But like I told you before, definitely keep uh, Who's Your Daddy for yourself. Just because, like I said, me and the guy, me, Delirium, Danny, um, I think 50 also, and Oro, we all have Who's Your Daddy. So if we can all get together, we, I think we can max out at eight players. It is, if anything, I'll link you later. Um, I have streamed it with the guys. I've also done recordings, and it's just this goofy nonsense. Like, it's, you're, you're a baby who can go, like, you can either be a baby and drown yourself in the pool... You can eat poop. You can jump into a wood chipper. Uh, you can throw a toaster in the bathtub and electrocute yourself. What else can you do? Oh, you can you can get in a car and end up crashing it. Uh, ultimately, you know, hurting yourself in a way that YouTube can't. I can't say on YouTube. Um, yeah, the goal of the babies is to die. The goal of the the daddies is to prevent the baby from dying. So, yeah, that's so the, the whole gimmick with the game is one's trying to keep the other one alive, and the other one's just trying to die. It's a fun, goofy, nonsense game. You know, Seth, it's a game where you, you just just don't think about it. Like, just have fun. Like, that's really it. Just jerk around. Do for it. Sometimes it doesn't work right. Like, so unfortunately, I will admit, the servers at times don't behave the way they should. Am I injured? What the hell is wrong with my character? Oh, yeah, he isn't. Oh, he's like severely wounded. I didn't realize that. I'm like, why is the screen flashing? And yeah, then I answered it. That's what I'm saying. If you already have a key for it, keep it. This is the painting room, so we don't need this. Yeah. Like, I, I won't lie. I was interested in that World War One game you pointed out. But, after actually looking up on Steam, I'm like, eh. Like, eh. Oh, I appreciate you at your offer, though. This is why condoms exist. All right, I remember this one. So it should be, I believe, what, what was it? It is Blossom, Kid, Bumblebee, Butterfly. All right. No, no, I, I, oh my god, I got it! There we go. Was it B and then but? You know what, Danny? You're right. That might be the case, but let me tell you something. They ruin lives, but without condoms? I'm sorry. Condoms might ruin sex, but no condoms may ruin lives. Like an old co-worker of mine once said, Children are little condom commercials. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Alright, so that should do it. Oh, 
Okay. My stomach, my, my stomach twisted for like a solid second. I'm like, I did do it right, right? Okay, we're good. Is my baby holding up? If you mean, if you mean my Steam Deck, it's dead. Like, I, I guess you could say I had an abortion. Yeah, so what happened was I pulled the power cable out of my uh, Steam Deck last night to try to reset it because it was back in that boot loop again. So, what ended up happening was I pulled the power, and when I went to go reinsert it, I noticed something come, like, float past my eye. And I was like, oh, maybe it was, I'm like, either that was smoke or that's dust. And I sniffed my Steam Deck just to, like, try to get an idea. I'm like, hey, was that what I think it is or, you know... Was it just dust? That I was being really hopeful about about it. I was being very hopeful. So I pulled the plug, went to plug it back in, and sure enough, I saw steam coming off, and I was like, "Son of a bitch!" So yeah, I ended up uh, shorting out my steam deck. I don't think I have the face yet. No, I don't have the face yet. That's what, you know what it is? It is what it is, Danny. I'm not too worried about it because like I told you, I found out that, I, well, not that I found out. You would think I work for the company, I'd remember this. So, Verizon has a protection plan called the VZ Home or Verizon Home Protect. Why this matters is because VZ Home Protect is $25 a month and it covers all of your tech in your home. Everything from a toaster to gaming consoles, even to gaming PCs. So, the deal is, the way it works. Well, I mean, they cover up to $2,000 worth of shit. So if I break, what is it? So like, say my computer is over, uh, it's over $2,000. They'll cover up to $2,000 in damages. So, my Steam Deck, only like a couple hundred. My game plan is, I will go through insurance. They'll probably send someone to my house to try to fix the Steam Deck. Gonna realize, hey, can't fix it because it's burned out. So what they're either gonna do is they're gonna try to either replace it with a comparable model, or they'll give me, or they'll research what the, uh, what do you call it? What the system's value is. So research the system's value and then give me that in a uh, check. Oh, get off me, bitch! There we go. But yeah, so that's my game plan right now. So, my options right now to fix my Steam Deck are I either go through Steam's partner they're, they're repair partner. So Steam's not wouldn't repair my, my system. They don't do repairs anymore for whatever reason. They have a third party partner to help them. This partner charges $185 to do repairs. And that's the starting price. It can go up from there. So I could pay either 130, uh, $185 to repair my system. Or I can repair, or what was it? Or I can do this the, the VZ Home. Now, what, what, what was this one again? Uh, fires where the sun shall surely rise. Okay. If I remember correctly, the birds gotta go stare at the dog. And I think Satan looks at them. 
There we go. Or my other alternative is to buy a new Steam Deck. Which, I don't want to drop 300 plus dollars right now. So, that's... Oh, fuck me. So, yeah. Game plan is going to be the VZ home. So, as much as it sucks, I just got to be patient on it. Um, outside of, like, traveling, I don't really use my Steam Deck all that much. Even when I, when I was going into the city, I wasn't really using my Steam Deck all that much. Uh, I, I actually, no, it wasn't even that I was using my Steam Deck. I wasn't even bringing it with me when I was going for my HVAC stuff, because, God forbid, it got stolen. So, the only time I ever really used my Steam Deck is uh, I was going on long trips, and how often am I doing that? So, am I going to be miserable without the Steam Deck for a month? No, it's no big deal. I mean, I found a cheap alternative to fixing it, so. Oh, shit. Oh, those maids are annoying, dude. Hey, I came this way already. I'm just trying, like, while I'm on this floor, I want to unlock all the doors and try to, uh, make what progress I can. Is Ashley dead? Did I kill Ashley like a dumbass? I did something. Son of a bitch. God damn it. I gotta get back to, uh, I gotta get back to the lab. Danny, do you remember when I, when I last streamed? Did I kill off the girl? I don't remember if she died or not. to get me oh the main hall okay so I can just go this way no 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 the other one the Chick with the brown hair kind of reminds me of, uh, what's that chick? Uh, Rebecca from Resident Evil. I wish there was a way of swapping characters, but that's not really a thing in this game, unfortunately. Oh yeah, right, that's why I'm here. Coin emergency reset. Oh, that's what that button is. 
I don't want to press the red button. I don't, oh. Oh, so if I... Okay, so we haven't really done everything yet. So I'm not going to press that button. But basically, that it that lets... Rather than having to do everything all over again, if there's only one or two things I had to do, I can use that to kind of just reset and get back to HQ. That's what that's for. So rather than having to go over absolutely everything again... Yeah, I don't remember if she died or not, because I don't know if that's going to... I don't know if I need her to get the plants. If that's just a skill thing, or if that has something to do with the story. I mean, hell, this guy might... On this life, this guy might technically be my first run. You're the shittiest ghost ever. Oh yeah, right, I still gotta get the false butterfly so that way I can get the, uh, which of who's it's, the, the electric, the, uh, lightning one. Did I get that item? No, that's the bumblebee brooch. No, I gotta get the butterfly yet. So no, uh, there is a butterfly bro like item that I need to get, and that will let me get the butterfly brooch. You know, it'd really suck if me stepping on that platform killed me. Oh yeah, we were already over here. Okay. Alright, so this side of the mansion is cleared. There's nothing I really have to worry about. So then the butterfly thing I'm looking for should be on this side of the mansion then? Like, I'm going off of memory, like, a lot right now. This was to get the magnum, so we don't have to do that anymore. It's already done. Wait, what? We're pushing against some rubble and can't move. Oh, okay. Alright, so it's not this side of the mansion, so that, that butterfly item that I'm looking for should be on this side then somewhere. It's just a question of where. Some, like, I literally... No, wait. Oh, I think... Um, I think I had to open up the coffins to get it, now that I think about it. Where the hell is that? We were in there. That's where the spooky thing was laughing at me. This should lead back here. Did I go in here?
Oh, this takes me back out here. Alright. Actually, where's the library? I should go... Um... Oh, never mind. Alright, I might be wasting my time going over here. Yeah, that's all it is. Shit. Alright. Alright, took care of this then. Um... Oh! Uh, so guys, I was watching something, came up on my feed this morning, so apparently, apparently, Vladimir Putin claims that when Alaska, when Russia sold Alaska to the United States, Putin claims that that was an illegal sale. And that the United States does not have right over Alaska. And Russia will reclaim Alaska. I, remember, I can't remember who it was from the State Department or uh, Secretary, uh, the Secretary of Defense. or I don't remember who it was. But they, they, their response was, yeah, he's not getting that back. He's, he's not getting Alaska back. Uh, so yeah, Putin is making claims on Alaska now. So, as I said in the Discord... We are literally living in the fallout timeline. That's what I said. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I said. Literally, that's how fallout started. The reason in the fallout series, the reason why the nukes fell in the game is because Russia, the United States and China, you know, ended up, you know, they ended up exchanging nukes because China invaded Alaska for oil. Their invasion failed, and the U.S. was prepping a counterattack to invade China. Fearing, annihil you know, fearing annihilation, the Chinese ended up... Well, supposedly, what we're told is that the Chinese fired the first nukes, and that's how it all went. There is some theories that it actually might have been the United States that fired the first nukes, that it was the Enclave that did it, but they were influenced by vault Tech. No, Danny, think about it. It's a good thing. Because if we get nuked after you get out of college, you have that skill going into the post-apocalypse. Wait, there's more zombies. Shit. You know, though, it makes me wonder how many people, with this information coming out, how many people are going to have a cassette player with them playing, like, old, uh... God, how old is that, the music from Fallout? Like, what, the 40s? Probably the 50s? Danny's getting that hacker skill. I'm going to be going for the gun nut perk. And I, to be perfectly honest, like, even if it came to a... Uh, Yo, know, a Red Dawn situation. I, I don't think the U.S. would fire warheads. Not unless the Russians fired first. I think the only time nukes would be exchanged is if the U.S. started making moves for Moscow and the Russians started, like, sweating bullets. Uh, then they'd probably fire missiles. Then that probably would happen. Um, yeah, I don't... Let's see, I think... Oh, 
I did get a double barrel tuning kit, huh? Oh, wait, I'm dumb. Like, honestly, I think what would realistically happen is the Russians would make a move on, you know, on Alaska. We'd arm civilians and deploy the military. And Russia would have a very bad time. the fake butterfly for some reason that works get back to uh, the ground floor. Wait, Danny, open what suit? I forgot about that. Yes, yes. I have no idea how to do that, though. Like, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a clue. What do you think? I'll go take a look at it, but I don't know what... Because if I remember correctly, it's a combination lock. I just don't know what that combination would be. Nor do I have any indication of what it could be. Yeah. Alright, uh, here, I'll go, uh, I'll go back to the board and show you. Consider, Danny, considering that there is a time delay, if you're going to snap a pick, I would say when I get there, pause it. That way you don't have to worry about me, you know, again, the time delay. So I don't know if this is going to be some kind of indication.
normally clues like that or things like that are usually within the area of the puzzle. I don't know what the hell else would be giving a clue of this. Other than the chessboard. That's what I'm saying. I've been checking the rooms. I don't really, I don't really know. Um, yeah, those don't really. Shit, hold on one second. Um, so the other rooms that we have, we got uh, on the second, there's a few different floors. Uh, there's the main hall, the trophy room, the ballroom, which that's where the brooch was. The trophy room is where we had, where we got the revolver. Uh, there's the library balcony, the bathroom, the tower room, which we were already there, the music room, uh, Oswald study, maybe the study. That's where the spider was. Um, Chest, oh, chest note. When the rows of white and number of spheres combined, the shield of a great knight will shine. When the rows of white and number of spheres combined, the numbers of what? When the number of spheres combined, would that be the billiard? Where the fuck is that? Yeah, it's one floor below us. No, but see, that's what I'm saying. It's something with the billiards. So, the billiard ball is a clue, and that has something to do with the chessboard. again uh, when the rows of whites and the number of spheres combined is it wait is that supposed to be divide or is that just like a slash that could also be a divide that'd be weird and the numbers of spheres combined the shield of a great knight shall shine. I shall be thine. Okay. 
Now, I don't think I have balls on me. I think it's the billiards themselves because it says when the rows of whites and the number of spheres combine. So when you take, let me see, where are the, if I go back to memories, we go to here. When the, what is it? When the rows of whites. So. When those combine with this, is this some kind of crazy math problem? So, so when you combine these with the, what? I think we're on to the right path. Maybe I'm overthinking this. It has something to do with these two. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. One. It's going to be that. No fucking way. Hold on. Eight. Oh. Three. I got it. I figured it out. No, no, no. 1836 is an indication of which piece it is that we need. Yep. That's it. For the king. I guess a rook. Maybe? On. Can't remember which one's the queen. I think that's the queen. There we go, got it. I, I forget I forget my chest pieces. Oh shit. He's not happy we took his uh, shield. Why you save your magnum ammo? Shit, 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 shit. why he didn't want to use the other medical. Okay, so that's one puzzle down. Um, the only other one that I don't think we ever solved was this, the uh, piano. Let me check. Uh, I wonder what that, it's a key item, right? Wait, it's actually an equipment? Alright, neat. I don't know how this is going to help us, but alright. No, actually, no, I'm going the wrong way.
Damn it. So it's weird his gun does not kick back the spider. Thank you for the help with that, Danny. God damn it. Oh, I didn't lose the, the girl yet. Alright, cool. Hold on, I'm, I'll play this here in a second. So I think that was just an asset for the team. I don't think that necessarily... Oh. I don't think that necessarily was a necessity for the story. I find weird her character oh never mind there we go I was gonna say for some reason on her character model you don't see the guns I thought it had something to do with her being smaller or something but no oh that's wild if you die to the spider he wraps up your body
Got it. Okay. I think the elevator just takes me down to the basement, which I don't need to go there. Though, before engaging in the final fight... Well, actually, no. I wouldn't be engaging in the final fight because I have to get through the whole maze and all that nonsense. Yeah, you know what I'll do? I will go through the maze, kill the zombies. When we get to that fight... Oh, uh, Danny, you done diddly goofed it. You done diddly goofed. Is it, uh, are you gonna get a late penalty or anything for that? Okay, got it. You know, I never understood. Why do these mansions have graveyards? I mean, I, I guess you could argue, like... The mansion's been passed down from family member to family member, so they've just just kept burying their family members at the same damn house. I guess. Fuck. There we go. Damn, dude, I don't think you're that far from your uh, from your living room and your bedroom to have to sprint. <laughs> So we can actually use the shield to defend ourselves against attack. I gotta remember that. I'm trying not to let her die. And it is not going in my favor. Granted, I couldn't really see the zombies through the trees.
anyone else? Nope, just him. Oh, you know, no, 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 let me not do that. Hold on. Let, let me, let me correct myself. I deliberately said I wasn't going to engage, but then my dumb ass decided to run right in. No, let's not do that. No, 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 no. Let me be a smart boy. Fall back. We'll resupply because I don't have any rounds in my Magnum. I think my shotgun's running low as well. We'll resupply, resupply medical. We'll reload everything. Then hopefully, we'll beat this, beat this fight, leave, and hopefully, we'll get the final ending, or the true ending. The only thing I think that's going to stop us is that piano. I have a feeling that's going to stop us, and it's because I don't know. There we go, so our ammo is resupplied. There we go. I'm sorry, give me one moment. I'm plugging my phone because it died.
why he shoves the axe into the ground. Would that not make it harder to move the damn axe? I got him. Oh my god, look at her health. Holy shit. Ashley is a champion. Oh, dude, the shotgun's a godsend. Yeah, yeah, that'd probably be a good idea, Danny. I didn't even think of that. To be fair, technically the game does that for me, but yeah, no, you're right. I probably should. Helicopter explosion, a memory that isn't mine. Alright, yeah, she said all this. Right, because I remember KRKN is going to tell me, hey, you know, you got to go talk to the, you know, if you got his memory. Losses, firewall disabled, the true ending. You must destroy the wall in the captain's office, facility. Alright, director. Uh, destroy the wall, okay. Brass knuckles on his desk, okay. Is he not? Playing against the other end of that hundred. Wait, I don't get it. So, did I make a mistake or something? So, yeah, no, we're definitely still missing something. So I'm thinking we start off as the, uh, captain. 
Maybe have him look at the chessboard? Because they said it was a shared memory. I just don't know whose memory we're sharing it with. Yeah, that last bit is really complicated. It says it needs to be a shared memory so he can figure out the final move. And I don't know what that means. God damn it, I need him. Oh, I fucked up. Right, we don't have any coins, so whatever. Now, uh, the reason why I didn't take the captain, or I didn't want to, is because I need him to go to the chessboard. I think he needs to go to that chessboard. The problem is, right? If I have him go through the cave and everything, he's going to get crushed by a boulder. I don't need him dying to a boulder. So, since we did, I think, everything for the dorky guy, we're just going to start with him. Because he's probably going to die to the boulder. Likely. Do I have all my key items? I have my weapons. That's saved. My memory saved as well. Wait, why the hell do I only have the pistol equipped? Hold on. There we go. I think there's another one in here. So Danny, what do you think I was missing? Or actually, any, for that matter, anybody in chat. What do you think I was missing out on that I should have done?
Nope, wrong way. Uh, where the hell is that? Oh, oh, actually, med kit. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted, yeah. God damn it. There's always one asshole hiding somewhere. Mike is the old guy, right, Danny? Well, you think he was playing chess with the captain? Cause I I didn't get to go to that board as uh, the captain just yet. Oh shit! Is that, this time it actually changed. It should be this one. I think. Normally it's the one on the right. Oh fuck, I was wrong. It is the one on the right. Uh, I ain't playing his mic anymore. That's Javier. Eric, yeah, that was... That was Mike. There goes Mike! I'm pretty certain it's Javier that does the gun upgrades. So I'm not too worried. Oh no, I already did that. Yeah, no, Danny, we already did the firewall. The reason, so doing the firewall is the reason why KRKN is able to come up and explain the uh, final ending. Oh shit! I see my hand in there. Oh, 
Oh, there is Mike. <laughs> this is what you get for trying to hug every girl you see. Real ones all real ones aren't full of spikes. I mean You know what? They may not be necessarily full of spikes. But I guess you could say some women have a very prickly sense of oh personality. My uncle's ex wife was one of those women. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't think there's any way of, uh, surviving this. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna play as the captain now, because he shouldn't. As long as I don't make any doof mistakes, there's no excuse for him to die right now. Somebody's not happy. But yeah, Danny, I'm pretty certain Mike was just to initiate the true ending, which we already did that. We finished that. That was the whole thing, I think, in the first stream we did this game. Where he was basically just getting wet for that computer lady. Because the things that we do, they're, they're persistent. So... As long as I do it during any particular run, it'll stick around. The only thing that's not, or seemingly not persistent, is basic resource, uh, com com bleh, consumable resources, that being ammunition and medicine, so that's not persistent. That will change every run. Um, what else? Yeah, consumables are not persistent, but story items are.
Hey, wait, no, it burned out just like my Steam Deck. I know. I, you know. You know. You know. The the way I deal with screwed up shit is by making crack jokes like that, making fucked up jokes. That's. I I, I gotta I gotta try to make light on it. Cause if I don't, I'm just gonna bug me. Like you know, what it is. I think it would bug me more if I think it'll or I think it will bug me more. <laughs> If I'm forced to have to buy a whole new thing, I'm. I mean, insurance covers everything. So I can only be hopeful that they will cover it. Now, my only thing is they said I have to wait 31 days, right? What's the chances that. I can file a claim sooner because like when I sign in there's nothing stopping me from filing a claim it's like hey you have insurance I'm like cool so I'm like what if I just file a claim in like a couple of days Oh, there we go. Now I'll remember this. There we go. He remembers now. So, let's see. If I go back... How much of a mind fuck is it to be in her uh, in her position? Let's see. Torga is prominently displayed with the last name, last known photograph. It appears to be some former employee identification. The crime is detailed a merciless femicide perpetrated by a target with known motive. No known motive. Ah, oh, he's from New York. Go figure. I am not surprised in the slightest. The intelligence report details that the area to which the target is believed to have fled, Beckon Ridge Hall, an abandoned mansion in upstate New York. Speculation is offered that the target may have stolen a classified substance, substance from his employer, a major pharmaceutical company. Whether an exposure to it may be responsible for his sudden psychosis is left unsaid, but the connection of private interest to the mansion is still made clear. If possible, that sample is to be recovered intact. The presence of this potentially dangerous sample is the reason that you, Dr. Catherine Olson, have been assigned to Ares and placed provisionally in command. A final note informs the team the rendezvous on the rooftop at 0400. Okay.
Okay, so now... Hey, you, you son of a bitch. Wait, he said he was gonna remember it. Oh, oh. I wanna figure it out myself, Colonel, I just need a little, okay. Now he's in there, okay. Uh, all right, so we gotta find the armory. Through escape, facility, destroy the wall. Bow in here, so long as you set the required events in motion. All right, so now we need to find the armory. Now is the lab. Assuming the purpose of the brass knuckles is to knock him out. No? Alright, so I gotta deal with him somehow. What do I need from him? I mean, I could shoot down like yeah. If I equip a gun. I find it funny that I'm like shooting this asshole, but it's not. Oh, the brass knuckles. If nothing else, I'm sure he appreciates the nap. Oh, that was the trick. Thank you, Danny. That's why we needed the brass knuckles. So by all means, make your move. Oh. An irritating alarm, is that all? Nope, the gas is probably, yeah. I'm kind of poisonous gas, and yet I'm not affected. I suspect the care can somehow plan for these contingencies. Or start blowing the place. Alright. Oh, he turned, what the hell? Oh, our former team members are turning. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> Consider this my resignation. All right. Air can was telling the truth, a facility within the facility. What's up to the director? Complete archive for finding additional pages. All right, here we'll give it a read. As you know, Ares has emerged as one of our leading projects in what we anticipate will be a wide ranging product line of post disaster state security solutions. Capricorn and Libra are close competitors, but I believe we can make the most compelling case at year end. 
without additional funding from the board. However, I fear that our long-term progress will inevitably fail. With our research into the parasite maturing, we now have managed to achieve considerable stability of subjects in a post-mortality state. They are both perfectly obedient when controlled by a KRK and subsystem, and as ferocious in death as they were in life. Through Ares, our clients will be able to suffer enormous casualties and still return quickly to full combat security readiness. Post-mortal soldiers can perform a number of basic duties required for riot control, trespass deterrence, and beyond. And our research into even more advanced forms of the parasite continue. Oh. So I guess we're chasing after ourselves. So we, we were the director. Oh, this was designed to cut through warships. I should be flattered that the director is willing to annihilate me at such an expense. That was easy. Oh, there's a team. Yeah, so they, oh. Ares Division clones all of them. We were never being resurrected. We were being replaced. And yet I see no instances of myself. And Monroe, no doubt there are hundreds of him. Not for long. Oh, speak of the devil. God damn it. So basically, they were creating undead super soldiers. That's what they were trying to do. So this is basically the Resident Evil where Umbrella actually kept their shit in check. For the most part, anyway. I appreciate that they let us have unlimited ammo during this fight. Ooh. God fucking damn it! Okay. Oh, I can continue as much as I want, but I have to. I'm still racing that clock. It'd be hilarious. Oh, I think actually I did leave her body. In there we go. Uh, I'm assuming that lever is what we need to go for. Ah, oh, these levers are going to piss me off. These levers, these lasers.
Got it. I don't know what that did, but okay. Alright. the very least, I flipped the switch already, so I don't have to go back that way. I hesitated. So, those of us in chat, uh, what do we think of the game so far? What are our thoughts? Let me hear them. What do you guys think? Let's have switches flipped. I mean, with a laser like that, I imagine, you know, I imagine you would combust clones of myself, but it would seem that something set me apart from the others. Tyrant? Something that enables me to become an abomination. Oh. Okay. So, okay, so she sidesteps to avoid your grenades, but if you shoot her in the feet, you're good. I win. That, that actually was not that hard of a boss fight. I was expecting it to be a lot harder. I'm not some toy in a tank director. I'm alive. I'm a human being, and I'm heavily fucking armed. Probably severely pissed. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, I figured, you know, the bitch is sidestepping, so it's like, why, why not, you know, aim for her feet? And if it's an AOE, and her sidestepping is not gonna stop me. I know you can hear me, you piece of shit. You're gonna pay for what you've done to me to all of us. Somehow, someway, we're going home. Wait, what did it say? Special door, and if you led right, is respond to your presence. Alright, so... They built you to be a better version of a person I spent my lifetime becoming. I hope you believe it. Because you're a million times worse than you'll ever be. Alright. I wonder if the developer intended this to be perfectly like it's kind of a cheap move Where'd you go? damage recover health I have to somehow uh, stop her
mean, yeah, it's a kind of a cheap move, yeah. So I don't know if the developer ever intended that aiming for the beat uh, move. I hope you have a final card to play, director. It'd be a shame for you to fall just short of all your hopes and dreams. Oh, well, here we go. No more secrets, no more hiding. You have nowhere left to run, director. And I'm in no mood to regenerate. Oh, renegotiate. Director, we meet at last. And it turns out to be me. No, Catherine, we've met before. You disappoint me. You were our finest creation. My one true daughter. When extinction threatened humanity, you would have been the phoenix that rose from the ashes. You would have kept the peace in the world of unimaginable desire. I'm not the director, but I'm his instrument. My goal was to destroy you before our paths crossed so your series could be preserved so that Ares project could continue. Sadly, that is no longer a possibility, and unlike the others, your memories cannot be erased. No doubt, this meeting is precisely what KRKN intended. I... Oh, I'm sorry. It knows I have to kill you. It knows you stand no chance against me. It knows that the dismantling of Ares will lead to the merciful end it seeks. Let me ask you this. Did you really believe that KRKM was your ally? It is a custodian. It has no meaning. It controls nothing but gears and levers, switches and screens, mechanisms and... Oh! Mechanisms like that. Crates, evidently. And if I know the KRKM by now, it will have provided me with precisely what I need. Yeah, is that a railgun? Laser can. Yeah, it's a railgun. What happened to us was wrong. We were captured, cloned, and brainwashed. Yet, no matter how much I crave revenge, I find myself looking forward to a life in which violence is no longer the answer to all my problems. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I can't change who I am, but I can change who I'll become. I'll kill every single person, colleague, or fucked up version of myself who stands in my way. What's up, bitch? Now, where's the director? We were the director. That makes a lot more sense. It's actually really a cool game. Um, I kind of feel like this is left. Uh, would be left open to a sequel. Not, I don't know. I feel like this game wouldn't do good with the sequel, just because it's like. I feel like this is a sufficient ending. Um, I love the game design, honestly. It's a weird, unique, like I said, it's kind of like House of the Dead and Resident Evil had a baby. It's that, it's a very unique gameplay. I do kind of feel like the whole transitioning between third person and first person back and forth like that does get a little in the wind. I, I feel like at times there was like, like I wanted to almost avoid engagements at times. I'm like, alright, been here, done this, let's just fucking do Like, it got to a point where it was like, alright, I've done this before, let's get to it. Um, but other than that, for what the game is, it's actually really cool. And as a $20 game, I liked it. This is why I keep saying, I go to indie games, triple A's, they just don't do this anymore. Indie games are not afraid to try something new. They're not afraid to experiment and do something different. Triple A, they like to stay in their rut. That's the problem. Indie games are something simple. And this is another game that proves a very, very prominent fact. The game does not need high definition quality graphics in order to be good. It needs a decent story. 
decent uh, character design and proper grammar at the very least. And engaging gameplay. So long as the game has that, you can damn near make it a Sega Genesis game. It'll still be good. It'll be successful. Hell, Undertale proved it. Look at that game. But granted, there are some games that also look like shit, run like shit, and just overall shit. Now, sometimes graphics isn't you know, the big detail. But anyway, that said, <laughs> needs nudity. Of course, Danny. Christ, of course. But that said, oh, this is a Unity game too. Go fucking figure. Holy shit. Unity, once upon a time, made like if you had a game on Unity, it sucked. Seems like Unity really turned their engine around recently. That's good. Anyway, lads, let's remove this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Uh, I think it was just Death, Danny, and Death. Okay, oh my god. Seth and Danny. Oh god, help me. I bring too many places. Thank you, Danny and Seth, for joining. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And everybody else who watched, I hope you enjoyed this series. This is actually a really cool game. Oh, we got something else? Oh, no, it just comes back, comes back to here. Um, that's it. That is You Will Die Here Tonight. Uh, really cool game. I think this developer needs to make more games like this. Uh, yeah, so if I just continue, it doesn't do anything else. There's no new game plus. It, it's just back to this. So, yeah. Um... That is where we're going to leave this one for for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, as always, enjoyed this channel, the content, and my nonsense that I spew out of my mouth. Any engagements you guys leave helps the channel out with the algorithm, helps us get out to other users, and helps us to grow as a community, and I appreciate the help. If you guys want to come hang out with us, link in the description below for the Discord. And yeah, absolutely, Danny. It's fun for what it was. It's a simple game that's based off of Resident Evil. It has that survival horror house of the dead-esque kind of gameplay it was simple and i love the idea of how it carries over where each character had to do their own thing but at the same time you had to be a little bit more strategic about who you were doing and where i liked it i felt like there was a lot of thought put into this so it was a really cool game i'm glad i got to play it i wish there was more to it i wish there was like new game plus um i just wish there was more but nevertheless for what it was for a 20 dollar game it was great. And I had fun. That said, see you guys in the next one. Thank you everyone so much. Love you all. Have a fantastic night. See you all on the next one. So, okay. So, before I leave. Uh, yeah, so Danny. Basically, the idea is... There's this company who was trying to develop a virus that they could use on soldiers. So, if you died in combat, they could administer this to you and bring you back from the dead. Thing is, you're a zombie and you can follow basic commands. But you were a zombie that could be kept under control. That was what they were working on. The premise of what we were dealing with was effectively we were the test dummies. We were sent into this combat zone to be tested on. How do actual soldiers fare against a variety of these zombies? Oh no, they were dying. It's that they kept sending clones into the experiment. That's what it was. There, We were clones. So I mean, like, so the it wasn't so it wasn't actually a Groundhog Day, but for some reason, Catherine, uh, Doctor Olson, she's the only character that remembered anything. Now, why was it that her memory was persistent? I don't know, but she was the only one that was persistent. Everyone else was clones, and they just never remembered. So literally, all these people were dying. It's just that they were throwing more clones into the fray, and hey, let's see what this happens. Let's see what this does. Let's see how they get through this maze. That's how it, that, that's what it was. Um, and again, they were trying to develop a, uh, a parasite that could be used to turn dead soldiers into half-functioning guards. So, effectively, if they came to a war, say, God, you know, say if the U.S. was using something like this, the U.S. could just deploy a bunch of zombie soldiers, like, here, go, go attack those guys. And there's just a whole horde of undead soldiers are just rushing into the trenches. Uh, so that was basically the idea. Or they could be used as guard detail, or basically just this creepy security guard to ward off people. So, they could be used for a variety of functions. That was the idea. Uh, again, really cool idea. It makes me really think of Cabin in the Woods. That, that was my first thought. So it has kind of a Cabin in the Woods vibe to it. Uh, but other than that, yeah, that was a really cool game. But, 
That said, see you guys around. I think... Oh, you know what? I think I have a game for stream come Thursday. I got two other games. Um, can't remember the first one. But I think I have on Steam. The other game I'm thinking about is a Terminator game that no one talks about. A PS2 game. And all I'm going to say about it, that I all I know about it, is what if Terminator was like OG Resident Evil? Terminator with tank controls and fixed camera angles. But yeah, that, I'm thinking about doing one of those two. So anyway, see you guys around. Thank you, everyone. Have a fantastic night, everybody. Later, people.